CMS has put together a, uh, a directory of NPIs that is available to the public for free. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people misconstrue the purpose of this NPI registry. It's, it's no more than an NPI yellow pages. You have a doctor's name and you want to look up what his NPI is. But you can't use it as a master provider index or really as an effective provider directory for health information exchange because CMS does not verify the provider's license or any of this other self-reported information. The only data that they verify is the provider's social security number, his date of birth, and his place of birth, but they do not expose that on their registry. So all the other information that's in that registry is self-reported and it's unverified. And even CMS will say, don't rely on the accuracy of that self-reported information. So when the health information exchange is challenged by preventing inappropriate access to, uh, to protected health information, you certainly want to have verified information about the provider in order to make an intelligent decision. None of the data that comes into health market science is self-reported. Um, because we get it from primary sources, we have a very high degree of confidence that that data is accurate. Um, providers themselves are very busy. They don't have time to update um, uh, their databases with their multiple trading partners. As a matter of fact, um, they are, even though they are contractually obligated to report changes to their information to the State License Board and to CAQH uh, and the DEA and a number of other trading partners, the truth of the matter is that they're so busy and their staff is so busy, they just don't have the time or the inclination to do that. So uh, relying on self-reported information is very dangerous and that's where a master provider index of primary source data becomes so much more valuable.